we go. ready? Yep, we're ready. Right. You're in the introduction. Well, hi everybody. Um, I'm Patrice Chelly at the Avon Library. This is Anna. She's one of the librarians as well. This is our 3D team that has built this um, two billion clock and we have had 51 pieces printed on our 3D printer over here. We've been working diligently on this project for about nine months, once a week, um, four hours on a Tuesday afternoon. And um, I am happy to say that we have a fantastic group here, and I can't thank you all enough for coming and supporting this project. Um, we have here in front of us a built uh, two billion clock, and we um, printed, reprinted each piece, fitted it, engineered it, Assembled. sawed it, glued it, and you name it, and we have um, come up with this finished product that uh, is in front of us today. One hollow tubing. Oh. tubing. Yeah, that's hollow, yeah. Yeah. What do you uh, mean hollow? It's one Six. by one. So um, we're just going to take a brief um, a couple minutes to talk about what we learned today. And I know for myself, I learned how to use a 3D printer. Um, I think it's a fantastic printer. We learned how to use the files on Thingiverse and put them on the, um, the LutzBot software that runs the printer. It's fantastic software. and. Um, Easy to use. It's very easy to use. We learned, uh, we used uh, different materials, PLA and PETG, found the differences between the, the two. Um, I can say we had the clock ticking. We have um, seen the clock ticking. Um, we have learned that this is a precision uh, instrument that probably would require a um, more precision printing than we were able to do with this project. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Anna and you can talk as well. Uh, yes, as Patrice already mentioned, this was a wonderful learning experience. We all had an opportunity to learn about the printer. We all learned how to, of course, assemble the clock and how to print all the pieces that were required for the clock. Uh, we had a chance to learn about all the settings that are required to successively print the objects. And we, of course, had a chance to print a different object using different filaments that were required for this object. And again, this was wonderful teamwork, excellent experience. Uh, we, all ha we all had a great time. And Absolutely. I personally enjoy uh, actually every single session that we had. Mm -hmm. And it was a really pleasure to be here over the past few months. All right, pass the baton over. <laughs> well, this has been incredible fun, and um, I can't believe how much I've learned about how clocks work and how manufacturing works, and um, thanks to this entire uh, team of uh, people, it's uh, been sort of like a, a family the last few months <laughs> that meets on Tuesday, so um, we're very appreciative. <laughs> This may have been a little bit of an overzealous project to us begin with, but we learned a lot of the idiosyncrasies of the 3D printer and the uh, idiosyncrasies of using the different plastics, mm -hmm. uh, temperature-wise and uh, the uh, density of the plastics. Uh, we've broken a few pieces, we've machined a few pieces the wrong way, on occasion, but uh, the problem was the precision of all these parts. We just weren't able to get the gears to be as precise and the shafts to be as precise as we would like to have had it for the uh, clock to run correctly. Okay. Uh, the other problem we ran into was alignment of the pieces because we had no 
processing jigs to uh, right. hold the pieces and be able to through bore shafts through different layers without uh, removing them. Uh, our main problem is a lot of these holes that we uh, enlarge to take the shafts uh, we had to do by hand and could not, you know, have a jig to hold it. That's my only comment on it. Hi, I'm the clock person here. I <laughs> wanted to get into 3D printing and I learned a lot about the 3D printing and what's going on. And for the, I have to say, this is a very ambitious project. This is a very precision machine and the Swiss are the only ones making this and they take years to make one clock. Uh, the amount of precision that was generated by the printer wasn't exactly enough and everybody held in there and uh, worked on this and we, we machined, uh, melted, sanded and all, you know, all the parts and almost every part in this thing was hand fed. We did get it to work and uh, that's a major accomplishment but I'm saying that uh, uh, master clock people take years to make these things and we did one in nine months and we did it out of plastic and not metal so I say kudos to everybody in this room kudos yeah. To you. okay I want to add uh, you know thanks to our librarian and Jesse mm -hmm. they're very nice people they took time to, to be with us and help us and show to us and teach us and whatever we did for them, it's up to Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's our thank pleasure. Congratulations. Everybody oh, work great. together.